Hello everyone. So I have an interview with a Mr. Wilfred. It's not a job interview, but it's some relevant question that I need to ask him from a man's point of view. Hopefully I get it. I'm going to attempt to call him. Stay with me. Hey, hey, Mr. Wilfred. Is this a live call? Hello, is this Mr. Wilfred? Is this a live call? Like yes. I got something doing. You got to call me back in five minutes. Mr. Wilfred, I got to call you back in five minutes. Yeah, you got to do. Okay. It well, I just wanted to ask you a few questions. It won't be a long call. Uh, you got a live show going. What's your question? Okay, so I got five questions here, Mr. Wilfred. Um, it's pertaining to chores, you know, home chores that should be done by men. So I just wanted to ask you a few questions to get your opinion on it. Um, so my first question is, um, do you think men should come home from work and cook? I mean, like to help out their wives. Do you think so? Uh, I'm at the wrong time, but I'm going to say, I'm going to answer your question though. Uh, I don't think a man should work hard every day. see like I don't see a man in the kitchen like cooking for you I don't, just don't see that, that kind of thing no I don't, I don't see it you don't see a man in the kitchen cooking no it, 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 it doesn't look right what do you mean it doesn't look right like so you're home together husband and wife and maybe both I'm saying it doesn't look right for a man in the kitchen that's what I'm trying to say disturbing my peace and all them kind of thing. I'm just saying, you know, ain't no guy that look good in the kitchen. Because if you put an apron over a man, it just doesn't look right. So, you know what I'm saying? so you're saying that a man should not cook, right, Mr. Wilfred? No, no a man should not cook. Oh, men should not find cook. a recipe. Look, look, listen what I'm trying to say. Because you're trying to get this thing all trying to twist it and all that things. Just trying to let you know that ain't about trying to get a man to cook. You're the woman. You are made to cook. If you can't prepare me a recipe, you're going to just find one of those little things where you can find a way out of cook. You're the one who's going to cook. If you can't cook, you got to leave. So you're saying men should you cook? What you trying to say? No, I'm just trying to get it straight. Are you saying men should not cook? No, men should not cook. <laughs> That's why we bought you the stove so you can cook. That's why we bought you the stove so you can cook. If you don't know how to cook, you can find a little network, little thing. They got a little YouTube. The people teach you how to cook. Okay. All right. So we're helping you. We're helping you to cook. Okay, Mr. Wilfred. So let's move on to question number two. Um... So mm. you don't think men should cook. So what about washing clothes? Do you think men should help to wash the clothes? Wash the like you. What you mean? Like I should laundry. I should, I should, should men help to no, do laundry? Uh, no, I'm trying to understand what you mean. Like uh, what you mean? I should try to skip work to try to help you to wash clothes. Which is what you trying to say? No, no. I didn't uh, say you should skip work. I'm saying. What you trying to say, right? Do you think you should help your wife to? You know, with the laundry at home. Uh, I'm working nine to five, so I don't, I don't see how that's going to work. Like, look, let me tell you what's going on, my friend. You act a little, little bit nosy in a lot of, a lot of people business. I just want to let you know. 
No, Mr. Wilfred, this is not about being nosy. I just wanted your opinion on, you know, what we should no, expect you, you from know, men no, 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 no. at all when it comes to me personal things. Like, you want to know what I do and what I don't do. No, I Mr. Wilfred, I didn't ask you that. I'm just asking you, do you think men should help with laundry? No, men don't wash clothes. <laughs> men don't wash clothes? Men don't. No man, no man don't wash clothes. <laughs> you should know. You should know. You did know men don't wash clothes. <clears throat> I didn't know that men don't wash. I want to ask you a question. I want to. Well, hold on. Let me ask you. Do you, you think men should wash clothes? Well, I think the duty should be shared, but um. Don't get the truth about it. No, 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 no. Don't, I, 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 don't even answer it. Uh -oh. We got machines out there, so y'all don't understand that we get you machine to wash the clothes. So that's the help issue you gonna get. Okay, Mister Wilfred. So um, all right. I know you be talking like ah, ah, he's talking English like he's from some American like that kind of shit. No, Mister Wilfred, I wasn't um I judging. Don't you. You, I don't know where you from. Okay, Mr. Wilfred, let's get to the western question. Oh, you're questions. on the show, you're on the show, you're on the show, you're on the show, right? Yes, Mr. Wilfred, so, so I have three more oh, questions, you, what, what, Mr. What, Wilfred. What, 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 what you trying to do, what you trying to do? I'm just asking you the questions, Mr. Wilfred, so I'm asking you now. Oh, uh, I, I, I ain't going to mess up your thing, I don't want you to be afraid of me, I just want you to know what, what your question is, what's your question? So, Mr. Your question. Mr. Wilfred, um, so you yeah. said men shouldn't cook, and... No men should no men shouldn't cook. We work all day, all night, so we shouldn't cook. <laughs> okay. That's why we bought you. That, that's why we bought you the stove and thing. If you know what I mean. Okay, Mr. Wilfred. And you said men shouldn't cook. No, we shouldn't cook. No, we shouldn't cook. Y'all should teach us how to cook. And prepare, prepare us a meal after. Okay, Mr. Wilfred. So you said you said men shouldn't cook, and they shouldn't wash. No, men shouldn't cook. They shouldn't do laundry because we get washing machines to do laundry, right? So. Oh no! no they, they, this is the thing you don't understand. You know? No, man, I got to talk English now. Mr. Wilfred. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Listen to what me I say now. Okay, Mr. Wilfred. Don't. don't with me, you hear me cause no, this is, no, what me try to tell you from day one is that people get, people get, man gets on a washing machine, to wash clothes. I mean that he can't help you, no need we if you help you. If any day and get tired, you turn on the machine and put the clothes in there and you wash them. You get what, you get what me I try to say? Okay, Mr. Wilfred, so let's move on to the other question. Do you think men should help right, with, man. do you think men should help with ironing clothing? <laughs> you see? I see him. So I think I'm going to try to tell us. I'm not no, trade, no, 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 Nobody not trade, no, no. Because this is the reason why I'm mean, not no trade. Because man, no, me, I have iron out them and buy one of iron and buy put them in a house going and sell one of the iron clothes and I still want to help. What can I help one of them and iron clothes? But buy the iron, you use it and iron the clothes. But, what can I help you but Mr. Wilfred, um, the iron doesn't use by itself, Mr. Wilfred. You have to you have to actually use the iron to get the clothes, you know, sorted out. So I'm so what asking, do, do you think men... What I need to do is, is, come, is come off your lazy ass and plug it in and press the clothes. Okay, Mr. Wilfred. All right, let's move on. So... Uh, that question it don't really make no sense because that's no, 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 too much, man. No, 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 too much. No, no, I always like to come in and zone people money and no, no. I wouldn't say women are lazy, Mr. Wilfred, but let's let's go on. I never say anything like that. You know? I was just saying something to my friend. Okay, Mr. Wilfred. So, do you think men should spread the bed at home? What do you think about that? Spread the bed. Yes, to make up the bed that he sleep on. Let me tell you. Let me tell you the same thing. You hear me? I am not going to work seven days a week and come home and sp I wake up in the morning and spread bed before I go to work. You get what I'm saying? 
if you want somebody to spread a bed where you need to do is imply somebody to spread a bed like a help or something that would spread your bed for you if you don't if you can't spread it mr wilfred i don't understand um so are you going to pay that person to spread the bed mr no, wilfred you know what i think you know what i think i think i should do what i interview you because i think you don't make any sense at all what you're trying to say is that man don't man shouldn't do nothing at all well, that does make you all right no mr wilfred i'm just asking but if you ask me what the question and i will answer i but am I don't asking i really understand what you're trying to say right here mr wilfred i'm asking do you think men should spread the bed at home like you know the bed is steep on that's what i asked mr if wilfred get, uh, this is what i say right now what i say if the eye get up out of the out of, out of the eye bed mm -hmm. the, eye, the eye ain't gonna spread no bed you get what i say because i have to go there go work for the eye be you and the eye okay so only women should spread bed at home so if you don't want to spread no bed the empire helper then spread the bed for you so are you going to pay this helper mr wilfred no me not going to pay the helper because guess i know a year task that means that you have to pay the helper for if you come around come to all of them to work for you okay mr wilfred i don't responsible for that okay. don't y'all feel that way like men aren't gentlemen anymore <laughs> Okay, so let's let, let let me ask you the final question and wrap it up, Mr. Wilfred. Um, do you believe that men should help the kids with homework at home? Projects help the are, kids with homework. Yeah, projects are what you mean? Like what you mean? I the, I don't understand what the IHI is saying. The IHI understand what the I what yeah. the IHI So is your your daughter or your son get an homework from school. Do you think that men should help? You know, with those homework. Like you're trying to say the eye should help the eye with the homework. What are what the, what are your messages? No, not the eye. The make kids. I, make you help my youth with the homework, you know. But you have a thing that them call them Google. Mm -hmm. Like them Google. You have a thing where them call them the Google with them Google things. Mm -hmm. And they Google help them. So you're saying Google should help the kids with the homework, not men? Yeah, them no need we because of Google no more. Okay. All right, so let's have a, a recap, Mr. Wilfred. So you said men should not cook. You said men should not wash clothes. You said yeah, men uh, should uh, not iron. Thing, I know what, what, no, 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 what I, what I know. Okay, this Mr. Wilfred. Petries, uh, I don't remember your name, but... What I'm trying to say is, you come off of the Google thing, but you see that Google thing right there? Mm -hmm. Is that we don't have to teach you, we don't have to teach the steering them about things because mm -hmm. the Google is right here to teach them. Okay, so, so Google, Google should help with the homework. We're not, yeah, Google help with the homework. So it's not that I won't help you, I will help you, you know. Mm -hmm. But whenever I'm helping you, it's the Google who's going to teach you, not me okay okay so how are you going to help mr wilfred it's typing the word so you <laughs> can understand what you need to learn okay mr wilfred so you're just gonna type it in in google for the kids yeah so whatever you need to learn me just type it in there and if you don't understand it me don't know what me don't know what else to do because i eat a teacher okay mr wilfred so let's recap you said men should not cook men should not wash clothing men should not iron men shouldn't spread bed and men should you know depend on google to help their kids with homework so um all i can say mr wilfred is you know thanks for your time and your patience you know you know you have a lot of things to say but uh, you know you have a lot of things to say about things and a lot of things you have question you ask but there's a lot of things behind all those things that you said and let me tell you something you see if you don't understand them build machine to wash clothes so if you can manage it it's gonna wash it that's what it's worth I, I i heard that mr wilfred I, I think you need to do another interview because the interview we are not really right that 
no, no, no. Uh, these uh, these were the questions for this interview, Mr. Wilfred. So if there's any more questions, I will call you and ask you. So thanks for your time and patience, Mr. Wilfred. What did you say, Mr. Wilfred? I wasn't saying, I was, I wasn't saying is, you know, for try to have better question, you know? No, but these are, are important questions. Know. We just want to, you know, hear from a, another I man's know. point of view, how we no. feel about these. What, excuse me? No, I was saying is what you need to do is uh, get quality questions that I can answer because these questions don't really make sense to me. Okay, Mr. Wilfred. Because woman makes you take care of things and take care of everything at one. Okay, Mr. Wilfred. All right, Mr. Wilfred. Have a good day, okay? Bye. You do. You take care of yourself and make sure you're safe. And make sure you drive home safe because you're going to need to be safe. Okay, Mr. Wilfred. the information and people information where you want to stack up. Okay, Mr. Wilfred. Bye. You take care of yourself, I'm on your crush and you're going to have too much people information. <laughs> okay, Mr. Wilfred. Bye. <laughs> okay, okay, Mr. Wilfred. I'll take care of myself. Bye. <laughs>